What's up guys, Patrick Barker for the Auto Trader Toyota Yamaha team. I uh, work for Weston Pike, uh, this weekend working for Phil Nicoletti. To start up top, we've got Renthal, uh, Renthal controls and handlebars. Um, Phil uses a 999 handlebar and a soft half waffle Renthal grip. We also use Arc for controls. We use a folding front lever uh, on the clutch and brake side. We use a 2007 Yamaha uh, front master cylinder and caliper setup. It's a little bit bigger piston size than the stock size on 14 and 15 setups for the Yamaha, so we give the guys a little more braking power there. Uh, speaking of brakes, we use Galfer brake components, brake pads, rotors, everything from those guys, even the lines, front and rear. We use, uh, also up on the top, you'll see uh, a lot of switches and things like that on our bikes. We have GET electrical components as far as uh, ECU, we use a data acquisition system, uh, start maps and things like that with GET. A start strategy system also you'll see on there with the brake master cylinder, a little red button. As far as triple clamps, we use neck and triple clamps. They have a SFS uh, triple clamp system. It's like an air system in the top clamp. Uh, allows for a little damping, just a little padded feel for the guys. Kind of takes that initial harshness out, whether it's braking bumps or anything like that. They run a, a standard offset in that neck and clamp, which on a Yamaha is a 22 millimeter. Going down to the front of the bike again, we have uh, KYB forks. We've worked with KYB for the past two seasons now. KYB forks and shock, all the OW stuff there, and this is their the KYB air fork. On the front also, we have obviously Pirelli tires front and rear. Pirelli's worked with us for quite a few years now. The guys are great. You couldn't ask for a better company to work with as far as testing and development. As far as protection right there on the front end, we use a carbon uh, brake disc cover. It's made by a guy back in North Carolina that works for the race team for us. Uh, his name is Jeff Michelle. He does a lot of our carbon parts in-house. Uh, he does our front disc cover. He does our skid plate. Middle of the bike, kind of starting up by the radiators, we use uh, production radiators that we weld in-house, brace them up. Um, everything radiator-wise for both bikes, Barsha Pike, Nicoletti, they're all narrowed up quite a bit from stock. Um, the shrouds from Cycra, it's a whole kit. Shrouds, airbox top, intake scoops all narrow the bike up quite a bit compared to stock. We use CB4 radiator hoses and also Exodyne, all valve train components with those guys. They do a really good job for us. Um, engine wise, we're all GYTR engine components, clutch components, uh, ignition clutch covers, GYTR heads, cams, everything GYTR in this. And it's kind of, it's pretty cool because what we use in the race bikes is actually what GYTR offers to the customers. Exhaust, you know, FMF has been with us from the beginning pretty much. I mean, these guys work their butts off for us. we constantly developing, whether it's developing, tuning the bike, tuning the engine, tuning the exhaust system to what we need, whether it's sound, power, anything like that. The shifter we have on the bike is actually, we use a standard shifter arm and we built our own in-house uh, shifter tip. We move, actually bend the shifter arm a little bit closer to the ignition cover so it doesn't catch on any tough blocks or anything like that and the tip is a little bit longer than stocks. Foot pegs, we use our own in-house foot pegs we build. It's kind of a, a different deal. We build the boss for the peg, which is the piece that goes in the peg mount and the peg separate. And then you weld them together as one piece, but the cool thing about it having two pieces is we can move them around in any location we want. Uh, all the purple anodized pieces you see on the bike, whether it's the oil filler cap, the master cylinder caps, front and rear, anything like that, the purple anodized pieces is kind of uh, JGR exclusive as far as our retail stuff. We also offer axle blocks and a pull rod. Going back in as far as linkage and stuff, we use, uh, like I said, JGR MX pull rod. We use a production rocker on there from Yamaha. We have quite a bit of options and the guys have both tested it and that seems to be the favorite between all three of the guys really. Um, back in the back again, KYB shock. Uh, our suspension guy, Johnny Oler, works with uh, Kaz at KYB quite a bit. They work really close. Also, as far as on the side of the bike here, we use uh, GYTR chains and sprockets. Uh, that's something new for this year for us. The chain guide on the bottom is actually something we made this year. Uh, it's an adjustable chain guide, something you don't see very often. Um, you can adjust it according to what sprocket you run of how much the chain hangs out the bottom of the sprocket going into the chain guide. As far as back here on the back wheel and front wheel, we use uh, Kite Hubs from W, and they build our uh, wheels with XL rims, A60s. All the Cycra stuff, they do a great job for us. Built a lot of things, you know, they worked with us really close on the Shroud project, that was something we wanted to do and, and they've done a great job for us there. 
Um, and of course, make the bike come together and look good, Factory Effects, the guys do an awesome job every year. The bike looks awesome, whether it's, we've done some one-off races, the guys do a really good job with that stuff, and then our standard bike kit looks great this year, everything from graphics to seat cover. And center of the bike, Phil, Justin, and Pike all use just a standard seat, stock seat from Yamaha with a um, factory effects seat cover with straps on it just to hold them into it. Like I said, our bikes typically make a lot of power and pretty fast, so it kind of hold the guy into the bike a little bit. Um, they all three use an OW fuel tank too from, uh, from Yamaha. It's a little bit thinner than stock. The whole bike in general, from the fuel tank, the radiators, shrouds, everything, is about 10 to 15 mil narrower than stock. Another thing kind of coming off the back by the fuel tank seat area is the subframe. The, we use an adjustable subframe. This is something we started off with our retail business doing, because once you cut and weld your subframe, you're pretty much done. You can't move it, it's in a fixed position. And we've done that for years. This year, we kind of came up with an idea like, you know, hey, let's build something for the retail guy that can buy it and have an adjustable subframe. He can move it around and not be stuck in one spot and the subframe's not wasted. For intake stuff, um, we have Fram this year. That's a new sponsor for us. Fram does our oil filters and air filters for the bike. Um, you know, everybody's, Fram's been around for years. Solid company in the car and automotive industry, and then they've got into motorcycles recently. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for coming by, checking out Phil Nicoletti's bike, checking out the Auto Trader Toyota Yamaha JGR rig. Come by and check this thing out on Saturday and grab a wiener schnitzel and come hang out.